Hi, my name is Josh, and today we're going to talk about spoofing. Uh, we're going to talk briefly about what spoofing is, and then we have a few steps that you can take to help prevent it. First, what is spoofing? Spoofing is when someone sends you an email impersonating someone else. This is typically done for fraudulent reasons or to gain some of your personal information. Next, we'll look at a couple of examples to help you more easily recognize a spoofing attempt. So right here, you'll see the first example we have of a spoofed email. A clear indicator of a spoofed email is when the from address here, that is Santa Claus, does not match with the email address that sent it. In this case, example at emailhelpfids.com. Uh, this is obviously fake. This is a clear example of what spoofing is, but may not be exactly what you see in the real world. Uh, this example might be a little bit more close to what you'll see here. Here we have a message from Santa Claus, uh, email address from santaclaus at thenorthpole.com. Definitely seems very legitimate. Since you do see some fishy content about this email, we always recommend that you take a closer look to verify that it is from who they claim to be from. We'll take a look at the message headers here to be able to see some more information like we were talking about. The steps for finding the message headers will vary depending on which email client you are using, uh, but go ahead and follow along with me here. Uh, here we have the headers of the message. Now, this may look like a large wall of text, but don't let that intimidate you. We're going to look for just two specific lines, and that'll be enough to let you know what we're looking for to know if this message was indeed legitimate. Uh, the first thing we want to check for is always the return path header here. This one, uh, you can see right here where I've highlighted, is still example at emailhelpvids.com. So you can see that even though they claim to be sending from Santa Claus at the Northpole.com, this is where the message is actually from. The other thing we always recommend checking is the originating IP address, which you can see right here as well. This is just uh, also indicating where the message would come from. Uh, another test of its legitimacy, and this is what we would use to blacklist that information if the time came. Next, we're going to talk about how to fight spoofing. The first and most important thing you can do to fight spoofing is to check the originating IP address and return path on the headers as we looked at in the last part of this example. Another important step you can take is to set up an SPF record on your domain. Now, what is an SPF record? An SPF record specifies which mail servers have permission to send email on behalf of your domain. SPF records were created to help cut down on spoofing as it had become more prevalent. However, not all mail servers yet check for SPF records. Do not let that dissuade you from setting one up, as we still recommend it as best practices. We do have a couple additional records that you can add to help cut down on spoofing as well. If you have any specific questions on SPF that are not addressed in this video, please check out our other video on SPF records. Now, that brings us to DKIM and DMARC. DKIM is the process of your outgoing mail server citing your messages with a private key and allowing the recipient mail server to decode your messages with a public key available in your DNS. This is done to make sure your messages are not tampered with or modified while in transit. Lastly, we have DMARC. DMARC is a record that you set within your DNS. It tells recipient mail servers what to do with messages that pass or fail their SPF and DKIM checks. We do recommend that you use this record to help monitor any fraudulent emails being sent through your domain. I know there has been a lot of information thrown at you with acronyms and everything else regarding spoofing and how to prevent it. We do have an additional video going more in depth into DKIM and DMARC available as well. Now we've talked today about spoofing, how to recognize it, and how to prevent it. Some of the things you can do are checking the return path and originating IP in the message headers as we did at the beginning of the video. Uh, we also recommend setting up an SPF record as well as DMARC and DKIM to help prevent this. There's no surefire way to prevent these messages from being sent, but following these best practices will help prevent your users from being affected by it. Now, as always, if you are a customer of Rackspace, please feel free to reference our email help tool available at emailhelp.rackspace.com or to call in to our support line directly at the number at the top of your Rackspace control panel. Uh, thanks for watching this video and have a great day.